All right, we are back to Twin Ring in the Arca series, and if you didn't watch the video that I put out last night, um, yeah, we're on the road course, and we're on the west road course, which is a six-turn, uh, kind of a right-hand oval type thing, but it's got a lot of off-camber corners, uh, very, very tricky chicane, and not a lot of grip. It's going to be something different. Uh, it's probably going to have the lowest participation that we've had in ARCA for the longest time. But the goal of this was to give people that bought Twin Ring three seasons worth of racing. We're going to go back to the Oval next season. And then it'll probably be off the schedule for a couple of seasons. Or a couple of years, probably. But look at this. We have... 24 cars in this split, 24 cars in the second split, 48 people signed up, and this is going to be, this is going to be a uh, full field, and we're going to get some lap traffic. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. 24 cars but you know what we do 24 cars on uh hickory and the bull ring and uh it shouldn't be too much different but what is going to be tough is the chicane i'm excited for this um it's <laughs> who knows Uh, it's just, it's something different. I mean, I've been on this game for 13, 14 years now. And this is a combination that has never been raced in any series, I think. So, it's, uh, whoever wins this race is going to be the first person to ever win an official race at this configuration. I mean, that's, you don't get to say that very often, but I looked through some, uh, like Skip Barber, I figured maybe Skip Barber had come here before, no. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, we got everyone in here that we normally have. We got eight minutes of qualifying. We don't need that. Um, very short laps. But let's try and put a lap down and not get ourselves in trouble. I have changed a few things up based off of what faster people were telling me in my comments after showing my practice. So it's all going to be about getting slowed here, going to stay in second. That's different than what I was doing. This, you want to kind of just aim for the black. Don't go too far We're inside because you'll get yourself very bound up. And then easy on the throttle when you're in race. Um, in qualifying, since you're only doing two laps, you can get on it hard. I tried the wider line through one and two. I think maybe later in the race that'll be beneficial. I'm not shifting the time because I'm talking. Just gonna slow down. Now I don't know how much I can cut. I have to cough. Oh, I almost passed out from coughing. Alright. 39.1 is pretty much my average. V2 
the uh, best lap that I can possibly do is a 38.8 from what my optimals are. But I'm just taking it nice and easy. Get a lap on the board and... Well... Might be able to improve. Nope. Maybe? Nope. So, yeah, we're just... Right at that, we're going to be starting in the back or middle of the pack. Um, but you know what? This is all on road. Um, yeah, this is all on road rating. Road, uh, I rating and SR. It's not going to hurt your oval at all. So, if you got the track, go race it. Come have some fun. Uh, it's going to be unique, and we'll never get to do it again because everyone will be like, "See only two splits." Um, and that's just because they were too chicken to even race. So, thankfully. Um, thankfully we had 48 people sign up and, uh, people are brave and just, uh, you know, racing to have fun, which everyone should be doing. We pay for this crap. We should just race and let it go. Um. I think the pace lap is going to spread us out, and so we'll pretty much be single file by the time we get to the back stretch. Just because going through the final chicane and that last corner at pace speed is going to get everyone kind of tripped up on each other. We might even see a wreck. Um, but... Yeah, there's definitely going to be wrecks in the race, but we might see a wreck in uh, on the pace lap. And then another thing that's going to get interesting is through the chicane, as people go through the dirt, dirt and grass is going to get thrown up on the track, and it's going to make it even harder. So uh, I think we're just going to have to back it off later in the race, uh, know our limit, because right around, like, lap eight, things just start to go. Um, it just gets way too tricky. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, it looks like we might... No, we're not going to be able to advance in time because... It's going to reset at 1.30. Uh, we're just waiting on the one person who's not in here. And... Yes, since they're not in here, it's going to reset. It's going to say activity, unless they fix it. I don't think we've actually seen this um, this since this build came out. So maybe they fixed it so that it doesn't reset at 1 minute and 30 seconds. But we're about to find out. We're going to be 5 seconds off. Is it going to reset? Is it going to reset? It! Ah, oh my god. Reset. And now he's connected. So Jack actually... 
I he was looking kind of slow around my pace in practice, but um, I guess he was just trying to make me feel better. So, um, yeah, it's go time. Let's refresh the paints just to make sure that we get everyone's updated. I don't know if I actually refreshed them. I don't even know if that actually worked. So, uh, we're going to call it that we refreshed, and I'm not going to try to refresh again, because let's, uh, let's go have some fun. Looks like we're actually starting on the back stretch. So, shorter. Oh, and Gavin started ahead of us. I didn't even see both Gavins starting ahead of us. Because that so tends to happen when you start 11th. Everyone's up and on the track, and chaos begins. Holy crap, the track temp's 135. Why is the track temp 135? Is that right? So yeah, this is where I think we're going to get kind of spread out here as we go through here. Nah. Looks like we're going to be side by side into turn go one. It'll be very easy to overshoot turn one. Car is off. Be ready. I can't see the leader. Green flag, green flag. Felt like we might be three wide. Let's just take it easy. Oh, we got the pole sitter, I think, green off the off. track. Watch out for people getting on the gas too hard. I am not in a good position. I don't think I've ever tried to enter the chicane here. I give Gavin some room. Try not to get a cutting penalty. Try not to cut the person off. We just went too wide through there in first gear, which I shouldn't be in. I think it's other Gavin that we're racing right now. It is. All right, well, we survived that. Oh, original Gavin had to slow down a lot for the 12. That's Moody up ahead. You know what? There's still a lot of cars on track, and we haven't seen too much action. We're going to break early because now we're all single file, and we're getting tapped, and yeah, that was always going to happen. Zero Xs. I'm down to first gear for no reason again. Shift up. Six cars getting loose. That's Mike. Gavin gets on a little hard. We are in. Mike was the leader last lap. Oh man. Braking zones are a lot different. 17 just gets turned. I think Gavin got through that. He did. We got a free spot. Okay, Evan's coming in hot. Just go to first gear. Okay, he gives us room. Oh, we got some contact back there. It looks like Jack gets into Gavin. We go off track, get a bad exit. Other Gavin keeps it going, though. We are in fifth place. Still there. Still 
Got a better exit. Alright, let's do this the right way for once. Get a little separation. I might come out wider. Just so that I get a straighter exit. Oh, Gavin's on the gas too hard again. We're just going to take it easy. We're in a really good position. People are going to start making lots of mistakes all on their own. I don't want to be one of those. And I think we're going to get the lap traffic. Oh boy. Clear. <laughs> Check your mirrors. Clear on the left. We had to just go in survival mode there and not turn in. Alright. Jack's quick. We'll let him go if he gets a run on us. We're getting better exit though. Looks like we got the Gavin and Gavin show going on back there. Very slow, but you know what? We're still in the top five. Just trying to be smooth with the downshifts. Track is cooling off. Jack's getting on the gas just too hard. It's hurting him every exit. He's quicker than us. But he's, it seems like he's just trying to make a bit too much up on exit. Oh, we get in the dirt. And that, I just had to wait on it. Otherwise, we were going to heat up the left rear, which just gets hotter and hotter and hotter every lap. There's really no breathe time for it. We'll at least get Jack past us. Clear. And now we got lowercase Ryan, although it's uppercase on the thing you're seeing. But on the in game F3, he's got a lowercase R. And it looks like the guys ahead actually had some issues because we are, even though we were slow there, second and a half off almost. Uh, kind of game time on them. So now it's about don't overheat the tires. You overheat the tires, you're going to pay for it in the second half of the race. Gavin's still in ninth, so he hasn't lost too much after going through the grass. Looks like Brandon. Damn, Brandon's. I didn't even realize he was qualified up that far. He's having a hell of a race. Third place right now, but it looks like he's kind of falling off pace and backing up. Now we're going to have a pass attempt up here. Just got to watch behind as well. Make sure we don't get any craziness sent in on us. We got the number two car working his way up through the field. This is going to get bunched up here. Nothing we can do. Go to the outside and hope we don't get shoved off track. Alright, we'll just lift off a bit early here because Brandon's probably going to be lifting off a bit early. It's going to allow the two to come up get to our inside off the corner but stay alive we got a gap behind just get back off especially if they're gonna try to go too wide in there two car gets a little wiggle all right you know what 
it's not something that we've ever really done in iRacing, but short track road racing is pretty freaking awesome. You don't normally have this much excitement on a road course. Only six turns, though. Uh, it's definitely added some excitement. All right, the Gavins have switched. They are right behind us. I need to be looking at my brake markers and not at the F3. We nearly blew that corner. Got a little bit of wheel hop. Got to be careful about that. And the Gavins have switched positions again. Go watch both of their voices once they get them posted. We got lap car off. He's what the two's doing with his line. Although, I don't know if we, I mean, we came off the corner better, so I guess that'll work. It's going to be who is going to get too impatient on throttle. I got a little impatient there. Two got a little impatient on exit. A little brake lock. I don't know if that was Brandon or the cars ahead. The Gavins are catching. One and a half seconds back. Back off early there. We're just kind of all getting slowed up here. And I'm not sure why. I think everyone's just being kind of patient through this middle portion. Jack locks it up. Brandon gets hit, but it actually gets him around Jack because it sent him off to the right. And now they are on top of us behind. Oh, and I think someone just got in the grass on exit. So Jack's tires, I think, are going. He can't get it to stop now. And he's going to struggle. Well, he tried to cut back in there. And two wasn't quite there. Oh. For a pass and try to make him outbreak himself since he's been missing his breaking points. We slowed it down. Wasn't worth the risk. Oh, he's gonna get really loose here off the corner, throwing it in. Tell me what road course has this much excitement at every point of the race. This is awesome. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care if everyone gets mad that there's only one or two splits a race. This has been an awesome, awesome race. A whole different type of road racing. I mean, we are on top of each other. We got a lap car off there. Jack is going a little wide. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Nearly hit him. Okay, I think he gave us just enough room, otherwise I was going to be slamming into his front end. Oh no, and then he got loose and poor Gavin got him. I'm not sure which. And there's the big one. Everyone just piled into that one. Point eight zero seven. 
That's unfortunate. Is it going to be cleaned up by the time we get around here? Hopefully that didn't get too many people. Can we get up to sixth? We got Larry Pace coming up. He's doing his normal thing. Finding a way to the front. Brandon is doing a really good job of not getting loose. He's just taking his time. I think we can pressure him into a mistake, though. I think if we take a look into a corner, especially the chicane, um, I think we can force him into outbreaking himself. I don't want to cause him to go off track and wreck, but if we can just get a little bit of space and not overdrive ourselves. We've only got five to go. Second half of the races went really quick. We haven't got to the heavy lap traffic. We do have a lap car parked. He's quitting. So we don't have to worry about that. Tires are feeling fine at the pace that I've went. So we just scared him a bit, but I also scared myself. So we're going to do the normal road thing. Look to the inside. That's going to make him think that we're going to try something. Is he going to fall for it and go off track? We make him take a bad entry. Maybe we can go out wide, get a better run off the corner. Race brain's kicking in, starting to press on that throttle a little hard. He's breaking really early into turn one. But he's keeping his car smooth and straight and not skidding the tires, not getting loose off. So he's keeping his tires going good. And we can't do much with it. What an awesome race. I mean, this has been some really close road racing. I was hoping he was going to turn in earlier like he had been, and I was going to try to get to the outside of him. We just need to get a good run off of two. That is not a good run off of two. Screw that up. Don't screw it up this late. Don't toss away a good finish. Should be going out wider there, but I, I'm not thinking. Tried, tried to scare him out wide. No way we were ever going to be able to do that. Good job to Brandon. Great finish for him. Holy crap, that was an exciting race. Everyone can whine all they want. That was a very fun race. I mean, that was a lot of fun.
that was so much fun. I <laughs> I can't believe how well that went. Get out and try this. I mean, it is it is awesome. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, we were 19 and a half seconds back from the leader, but uh, Justin and Rocco were they were in a league of their own. Uh, I don't know who I sent that to. Alright, well, both of you, great run. You know it. Let's go through the wrecks. Get this thing uploaded. 94.88. Alright. Let's just see what all happened. There were some mistakes to be had in the first one. We're just going to go up and watch. Jack's on pole. Does he get a little bump or does he do the... Oh, he, whoa, he turned in way too early. Oh, he just... Just a mess there for him. I mean, he saves it. He doesn't get ran into. And he gets back up front up until he doesn't. Mike gets a slowdown, I bet. He's trying to stay wide. He's got a car to his inside. And then he just... Nope. Okay, I thought he was going to have some issues there. Jack now working his way through the field. And this is Jeremy. Then Mike off course for sure that time. He's in the grass. He's trying to get it back in, and then I think he gets turned here on exit. Oh, no, he turns himself. He gets on the gas too hard. Okay, he's still fine. All right, this is showing us, like, every 1x. Oh, and then Mike gets into the back of him. Was it prediction code? No, just a little too quick through the center. Mike tries to get him turned. Oh, and then Larry. Larry gets on it a bit too hard. Gets to swapping. Finds the tire barriers. Keeps it out of the tire barriers. But he had to come from a long ways back to get up to our bumper. And then... Let's take a look at this. Kevin nearly gets into us because we were just, I mean, we were being really patient and slow. And it's so easy to get stacked up there. Everyone cutting through there. We'll get to the eventual contacts. Austin. Oh, I forgot. I didn't even see Austin made the split. He was looking really quick in practice. He might, I don't know. Maybe he finished ahead of us and we just didn't see it. So, have we had the contact yet? No, because this is when these guys were swapping places back here. Mike. Mike went from way up front to just having a bad time. And we got two wide through here. That's the two working his way up, so we still got a long ways to go. Man, this is going to take forever. Alright, let's just get to the point where all of a sudden... Uh, let's see. These guys are having a great race. This is when everything starts to get stacked up here. I mean, we're... This looks like, uh... The, uh, Austrian Grand Prix at Red Bull Ring. Five, 
five guys fighting on a road course all close together. Things get a little dicey here. This is just allowing everyone to catch up. Um, yeah, now Gavin is caught up. Jack goes and locks the brakes up, goes almost into the grass again. And then... This is where... What happened there? I forgot. Jack just went wide. He was having some troubles getting it braking or getting on the brakes. I don't know if he was the one that said he was going 70% brakes. Um, that did not feel good for me. So I went 65. The next lap is the big one. Oh, oh. There was two things happening there. I think Gavin was looking in his mirror and then just lost track in front of him. And then they get stacked up there. I, was it a big wreck? No, it wasn't. Okay, it looked like there was a bunch of people turned there, but thankfully that wasn't. Gavin just lost a couple of spots. Unfortunate. I think that toss on the inside by other Gavin got him looking in his mirror and just at the wrong time. And now it's broken on Gavin, and uh, yeah, incidents aren't working too great here. So we will uh, go look at the results now, call it a video. I'm throwing a must watch on this. That was some awesome road course racing. That was so much fun. Most people just got one incident. Mike got 12 incidents. I'm sure those were pretty much all from the chicane. How'd the bottom split go? George gets the win. Awesome. That's great to see. I mean, this was awesome racing. I had, I mean... That was so much fun. That first lap. I want to go. We'll go watch the first lap. TV camera. If there's even TV cameras on this track. I don't know what it's going to look like. I mean, I felt like we were in some crazy battles there. Maybe it's just because, you know, I don't normally get close racing in road racing. But this kept us all tight and together. Got an ugly car for this one. I was trying something, and we'll be going back to the yellow. Not a good camera to watch that. Should switch to this one quicker. I think there's only two cameras. Let's uh, try camera three. I mean, Mike's up there in the front. I don't... He just... It all went bad for him. And I nearly get into the back of Gavin here, I think. Or at least scare myself. Almost, yeah, we do make contact there. I forgot about that one. Luckily, it didn't turn me. We were all keeping it straight and breaking, and it didn't do anything stupid. When did we pass Gavin? Oh, on the exit there. How did we do that? Sorry, I've already forgotten everything that's happened. Uh... Oh, because that wreck, when they got turned, and then <laughs> Larry's on the gas really hard, and Gavin dives it up the inside. That wasn't the... I forgot he also almost killed us. Was that the next lap? No. I gotta go watch that. 
man, I had so much fun. He's coming in hot, or we're going in slow, one of the two. We just turn back out. He misses us. He gets to slow down. Everyone continues on. I hope you guys enjoyed that race, because that was awesome. Thanks for watching.